Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. We got fucking betrayed. We got betrayed. I believed in you, Cohen. How could you do this? I should have trust. I should have not have trusted that motherfucker because you know he never opened his eyes, and you don't trust those motherfuckers in anime. And usually, when they do open their eyes, it's some kind of really hype moment. This time, he betrays us, and he took up the leadership role. He was strategizing for us. I really trusted him as like the captain. What does he do? He fucking sells everyone out. But. The logic, it does not contradict with the blue lock rules. It's about being the most egotistical bastard so that you can become the best striker. But I would argue he's not even good, though. They just let the goals get in. He's just gaming the system. So at the end of the day, you are being an egotistical bastard and gaming, you know, the rules. But it's not going to make you a better striker. I don't, I don't think that's the whole point of blue locks. So then again, I guess it does contradict what Mr. Egoist is trying to do. But right now, so far, he is working with the logic that I guess they presented us with. Here's what I think is going to happen. Shigiri needs to stand up. It's about time for this motherfucker to show us his weapon. He has not done anything. Here's my two guesses. It's been alluded that um, he hasn't... He had an injury, but we don't know if it's still an actual thing that's preventing him from popping off. Or it's just like a mental block for him to actually do his thing. I think it's the latter. I think this is all just a mental block. I think Isagi is going to give a little talk no jutsu again. Make Shigiri really riled up. And then he'll show us his weapon. I have no clue what's going to be. And then we clutch and we win. But then what's going to happen with Kwon? Because he's still going to be in our team. Can we just kick him out? How's that gonna work? I don't know. Things are gonna get super interesting though. Let's begin today's episode. He actually joined their team, right? Like, it's a 13 on, wait, it's 11 11, so it's a 12 on 10 now? I can't believe he's doing this, man. Well, I can now. Wachita's not that phased. Wachita's not phased at all. This dude. This dude. But really though, if we win, it's gonna be so awkward when he's still in our team. Yeah, they know how to counter us. But here's the thing. How can you counter a weapon that hasn't been shown yet? Chigiri is gonna show up, dude. This is his episode. Yeah, and you betrayed us. Yeah, it's tall on 10. I mean, with the fucking goalkeeper not doing anything, it might as well be 13 on 9. I'm shitting on the goalkeeper too much, but he's not an actual goalkeeper, but I have yet to see him block a single shot. Do something. Okay, here he goes. Please. Dude, please block. Come on. No. Is that his first? Okay, okay. That's his first shot blocked. Backstory. So he knows the twins. The twins knows about his injury. Does that mean that the twins knows his power? And the other twin doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's my brother saying, not me. Wow. I mean, look at you standing out. I mean, look at everyone else. They look like jobbers, and he looks like a new character. What's his power? Oh, does he win? I mean, this is before his injuries. 2v1 too. I don't know what happened there. What is this? Big super speed? Speed. So... His power is speed. So far. Might have changed. Is what my brother's saying, by the way, not me. <laughs> Well, this guy talks. This guy talks big. Wow, it's all about if you were born with talent or not. That's it. Man, you're talking a little bit too cocky. But if you have like a power like that, maybe you would develop a god complex also. Look at his design compared to everyone else's. You know, it's like. So, I have to guess that his power has changed from speed to something else now. Because it was, if it was really simple as speed, the twins already know. Injury. Rip. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> They're shitting on us now! What the fuck?! Those girls never cared about him! And... Lol. It's what my brother's saying, by the way. Honestly, the twins' treatment of Chigiri after an injury like this, I kind of understand it. Because look, we're just giving him his logic right back. Now, it's it's pretty rude, it's mean, 
But how Chigiri was treating everybody else, saying it's about talent, you either have it or you don't. That's kind of a dick move too, so I get why they're, you know, saying they're just shitting on him right now. But you have new teammates now. Oh shit, time's running out too. You gotta do something. Can we really turn it around in five minutes? Well, in five minutes, you're never gonna participate for Team Japan anyway, so you might as well go all out right now. You might as well just like show everything right now, even if you might get injured. Come on! Talk to Jutsu time. It's not over yet! Main character speech time! Chigiri, Chigiri, smell him. Sounds weird for me to say. But you know how he smells, you know, I felt like that was where to go or something. Oh. Oh. Wait, is he putting his team on his back by himself? I'm down to see this. Okay. Wow. Yellow flag. Where did the ball go? Guys, now is not the time to argue. Please. He's not giving up. Maybe, but he's still not giving up. Come on! Shigiri, take some inspiration from him! Now, do it now, dude. Come on! Don't give up so early! I mean, it's pretty late in the game, but come on, don't give up! Why? Because it's gonna remind yourself of you? Those eyes that have fire in them? Okay. Okay, he's got the ball. Please. You got it. It's now or never. Out of my way. <laughs> I'm like, alright, she's gonna pop up. No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, but it's enough to motivate him. Bro, if you really wanted to give up on soccer, you would have never came here. You would have just went home. Because deep inside, you know you want to be like your old self. Come on. He reminds him. Maybe it's not too late. Buddy, we have like a minute left. You gotta do something. Are we just one goal behind? Well, a permanent injury. That, that is kind of serious. Yeah, that is, I mean, that would put you out, but... At this rate, you're never gonna play soccer again regardless. Okay, here it comes. But what? Is it really gonna be speed? Is he gonna save us right now? Watch him break his, you know, chains. But then, what's his power gonna be? Maybe it really is the speed. Hmm. I just didn't think that it would be speed since the Queens would then know it and counter it somehow. I don't know how they would counter it. But I thought it'd be some unknown strength, right? Alright, let's see it though. Okay, here goes Chigiri. I swear to God, no cliffhanger. Chigiri, but he smells him. Oh. Somebody is moving. Perfect chance. Pass. So is this weapon really just speed? Let's see. Mm, unless somebody gets there before you guys. No, at that speed, okay. So his power is speed. I kind of wanted him to have like a different strength to kind of switch things up, but hey, super speed is cool too. Ooh, look at him run! Nah. Nani! Oh, move! <laughs> so it is just, okay, the super speed again. Yeah, and even if they know about the speed, how are they gonna counter something they can't keep up with, right? So it's fine, it's fine. Okay. You have super speed. That's great. I hope this transitions into a goal, though. Because just being fast, how does that make you score better? Other than put you in a good position to get to the goal. Maybe that's enough. Damn. He's getting it back. The mental block is gone. All thanks to Isagi pushing him into the ground. I was like, get the fuck out of my way, dude. From that far back? Whoa, no. Are you 
He shoots it at the path to himself? This is insane just anime logic happening right now. What? This is pretty much like a self alley oop in basketball. Break the sound barrier. Show me, just show me like wave behind him, just breaking. And one touch, one touch. This is so epic for Chiggity Man. Barely grazed it. That's a goal. That's a goal. Holy shit. This is gonna score right. Come on. You got that chance, buddy. Right leg lands on it firmly. That was his right leg. His <laughs> Have we heard him yell like this before? Man. He's back? I mean, he's finally here, I mean. And uh, what's his name? Raichi still hasn't shown us his power. <laughs> Raichi's the only one looking like shit. That was pretty cool, but I didn't do anything yet. Yeah. Yusagi did fire him up. And it wasn't just like a generic, you know, Takuna Jutsu saying, You can do it! I mean, he did kind of say that before, but what really fired him up was when the ball got to him, we pushed him into the ground. <laughs> I I don't think that he's ever gonna get injured again. It just unless he becomes so OP that he needs to be like nerfed. I think that he's really just this is him now. There is no injury. It was just a mental block, and I hope it lasts for a long time. Super speed though, damn, that was crazy at the end. I can't believe he fucking passed to himself by shooting and then getting to there before the goalkeeper even could. That was nuts, man. Oh, getting a little cocky, are you? Oh, come on, take his hand. Alright, the one player. No, there's still Raichi. And also Lemon, I guess. Even though he said he's an all rounder. But we're slowly getting everyone's strengths on display. Like a princess. I mean, he was getting princess treatment the entire time. Not doing anything. I'm not gonna tell you what power is. Right, I'm still waiting for you to pop off. Like, oh, Kuon's getting shit on my both sides now. That's another episode of Blue Lock. I think, he, man, the animation of Chigiri going like ultrasonic at the end. I wanted him to like break sound barriers as he was running. You know, there's like big circular things behind him just like, like But it wouldn't be very realistic. But then again, this is fucking anime sports, man. We can afford stuff like that. Still fantastic. We finally got to see his power. Super speed. Ridiculous. He passed to himself. That's like, what? But he took a shot, but it was like a pass to himself. Insane. Insane. Kwon, though, what's he gonna do? He's a rat. He's still trying to like rat us out to other teams, but they're not gonna take him, and we're not gonna take him either. Is what are we gonna do with him? It's still, I mean, I guess he has no choice other than to cooperate with us now, because even if he sabotages and he doesn't get the contract with other people, can if he gets the goal, then he's also out. So I guess redemption arc for Kwon? What the fuck? I don't, I, I don't know. And there's a okay, Lemon also, our goalkeeper. Finally blocked the shot. Yes, I'll give him credit where it's due. I'll give him credit where it's due. I've been shitting on him too much. Remember, he's not an actual goalkeeper, but I just thought it was funny that he never blocked the goal. Raichi, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? All you do is talk big. All you do is go aggro. But every time it's your time to shy, you get off screened. And this has to be intentional play. They're saving his power for a special moment. Maybe the next fight. That'd be pretty hype, right? So I have high hopes for him. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube level push that last small channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.